I found it really difficult for the last 17 years to find a way to get people on the outside to think about prisoners outside of sort of a Fox News stereotype, you know, to see them as human beings capable of change and also our responsibility as Christians to, to be with them in that change, both while they're in prison and while they're out. They teach me so much, and it kind of goes back in my own early life as a Jesuit. I mean, my first experiences of prison were connected to my retreat, and it had to do with seeing Jesus in them, seeing God, seeing Christ's face in these men and women. And that's always been true. I mean, I just sort of feel that this is where I experience God. I had church at home, but I never went into, like, a church building or anything. So when I came here, I... I went into all the churches here and the Protestant church, the Catholic church and, and it was always the Catholic church that where I felt most uh, most comfortable and maybe that's because of the family setting here with the father and Virgin Mary as our mother and you know and all the angels and the saints it just felt more like a family here to me than anywhere else. I think the more I learn and the more I want to share with others and the more I meditate on things things and that I'm doing in the church programs, the better I'm at at uh, learning more about myself as to who I used to be and how I'm different now than I used to be then and what caused me to do what I did to get here. I think the classes help us, you know, as individuals grow with the community too, to come together as a whole. And, you know, outside too brings them closer to us. It makes us feel like we're wanted. It helps me a little bit more with my prayer life. It also helps me uh, in, you know, anger management issues or, or problems with temper that I've struggled with my whole life. It teaches me a lot about forgiveness, about forgiving myself and, you know, for what's happened with addiction, and the causes that make us what we are today. And it, it's, it's a struggle, it really is, but it, it's helped me a lot in that area. Just the overall edification with respect to the faith and how it relates to our lives in here at a personal level for each one of us. And it provides a wonderful escape from the environment we live in. Personally, any time I can come to the chapel in any capacity is a respite for me from the prison environment. I only have two things in this environment. One is my spirituality, my ability to come and participate in religious services, and my communication with my daughters. That is about all I have in here. And the likelihood of my getting out is uh, very, very remote at best. You think about things more when, you know, when some kind of anger issue comes up or something that is, is drama or something, you, you think about it and you, you react in a different way now. We're human beings and most of us come here with a sincere heart. I mean, we're not, despite any of the things we may have done in the past, I mean, and some things are, are violent or terrible, you know, not everybody is just an animal who's locked up to be judged by just a small portion of our lives and compared to the totality of our lives uh, is wrong. And we don't want society to just cast us away and to remember that, that we're part of the community as a whole, even in here. We're all human. And we're willing, you know, to change. And, and some things that happen, we make mistakes, and we can't change from them, you know. And being in situations of addiction and stuff, you know, it's hard on people, but you've got to grow and change. Well, in here, there's so many people who seem to be discouraged or upset or depressed or angry. And what we're learning from the church is a way that we could reach out to them without so much as trying to uh, convert them into, into anything. But it's just we're doing that because that is what we're learning, just talking to them in general to make them feel better and let them know that, you know, even if they don't have anybody on the street, they still have someone here that they could talk to them anytime they like. From what I'm learning in the church is that you try to do for others first and you do for yourself last. And in that way, you're always taken care of because while you're busy doing for others, you know, God's taking care of you.